Hello and welcome to uh, another look at the Amos ARP sequence section in Amosphere 2.6. This one's going to be a bit of a quick tip one because what happens is if you like the sequence you've come up with on Amosphere but you don't actually have the sound you want in that synthesizer you want, it's in another soft synth. Uh, well, you can actually get that ARP pattern sequence to actually control another synth. And this is what we're going to explore. So what we'll look at now is, uh, first of all, we'll set up uh, a spectrosonics on the sphere. I'll think about it for a minute before it actually comes up. I think it's probably to do with the size of the uh, the libraries actually have in on the sphere. So we'll have a, I don't want to do anything absolutely earth shattering here. Yeah, that'll do. I'm more focused on the actual arpeggiator. I'm not really interested in uh, what the sound's going to be like, so we're going to use something else. So, uh, we'll go 12, I'll just put a very quick sequence in, transpose 10. For a change, what we'll do, we'll uh, slide down, I'll make it quite a dramatic slide. Go back up to a 12 and then I'll slide down to a 10, but not so dramatic. And we should have. All right, not the most riveting actual uh, sequence you're going to ever come up with, but it'll serve its purpose. So this time we're going to add another instrument and we're going to go with a bit of a diva. Hope and Premier Process will take this because it's uh, a bit resource hungry. So we'll go for plucks. Um, we'll have a deep pluck. That'll serve its purpose. <clears throat> go back to Omnisphere. And we'll click the capture button. And we'll go for two bars. It's captured now. And if you remember from the last video, you click on that little compass looking sign, click and drag, and this time instead of putting it in the Omnisphere lane, we'll put it in the Diva lane. And in theory, when we play it, we should get. And I'll just stick that on cycle. Actually got the sequence that you're putting programming on the sphere playing in diva just to prove it's exactly the same sequence if it gets his timing right so there we have it very quick way in getting uh, the sequence from omnisphere uh, to actually trigger a different soft synth so I hope you found this quick walkthrough tutorial uh, helpful. If you enjoyed it, uh, by all means give it a like. Click on the bell button in the top as it looks at the screen, top right hand corner, and you'll be notified of when the next one's up. Um, and if you would like to support me, head over to the Patreon page. Uh, it's in the link in the comment section. And uh, thank you. And I will catch you next time.